everybody. It's uh, mine here, now at Boat Electrician. Uh, dropping colder. Uh, makes jobs a little bit more difficult, a little bit more unpredictable. But hey, uh, indoor job, one of them today, is just to fit a, an Orion DC to DC charger uh, on a narrowboat. A narrowboat you may have seen before called Perfect. What the customer wants is to keep their starter battery topped up uh, from their solar during the winter months. So that what she wants is uh, to leave the boat unplugged and uh, just let the solar keep the batteries topped up. So straightforward enough job. Let's pop you down there. Uh, you've seen one of these before, most likely, B2B or DC to DC charger as a uh, as Victron call them. So it's a, I can't remember, 18 amp charger. Two rolls of six mil, very short ones, and six mil cable will carry 18 amps very, very easily. Uh, so it's just six mil cable, some fuses, and some crimps. So a, a couple of midi fuse carriers, and a couple of midi fuses a couple of uh, midi fuses now they're 30 amp which is all i've got the smallest i've got really quite remembering that the fuse is to protect the cable the cable is six mil can carry 30 amps very very easily so um they'll be fine i would have put 20 amp in if i'd got them which i don't but safety wise that's perfectly okay so just those and my box of crimps. One, one of my box of crimps. Because I've got bloody hundreds of them. Thousands of them. So that shouldn't be too bad. I say it's an easy job really, it should be. Oh, some mounting screws. This boat has one alternator and um, rather than connecting all those batteries together which you don't want to do or using a uh, split relay or something similar we went for a 12 volt to 12 volt 30 amp charger okay so that's that's what charges the batteries when it's running we've we've got solar on here uh, as well which is keeping the leisure batteries topped up that everything else is off what the customer wants is to take some of that solar and charge keep their starter battery topped up during the winter months only so <clears throat> solution is another charger mm, hang on a minute so we have the charger off the leisures charging the starter and the starter then charging the leisures all at the same time. All I'm now is coming, going round and round and round, doing not very much. Um, yes, you can set the battery voltages to when they, thresholds to when they switch on and switch off. But the problem is, once you put charging, if we're, if we're going to, if we're charging one way, the voltage on that battery will go up. And then the other unit will go, ah, I've got charging voltage, I'm gonna switch on and charge these. So it just goes round and round and round and round. So I was just looking at, Maybe change over switch and just using the one charger, which I could do. But I'm sort of struggling to find a, a sufficiently good DC rated uh, 30 amp switch changeover. You can get isolators and stuff, but that's not a changeover. I need a crossover switch um, to reverse the polarity on those. So take the in, you know, swap the inputs and the outputs over. That would work for sure. I just did it. Um, it's all a bit clunky and it's, it's a, bit, a bit unreliable, I think. Um, so the other way is I am going to fit this other charger, but what you can do through the Victron app is enable and disable, um, disable those chargers. So if, if, if it's winter time and the customer goes through like a winter shutdown thing anyway, all they'll do need to do is disable one and enable the other through the software. 
Um, unfortunately, these Orion Smart Chargers, they don't connect up to the Servo GX or anything, so you can't do it through a control panel, which is a bit of a shame. But I think that's, there are probably other, there are other ways of doing it, but for this particular customer, they, they want as little touches as possible. And because the software's there already, and all you have to do is connect to it and go disable, and then connect to the other one and go enable, that's all pretty straightforward. And, and let's be honest, even if they left them both enabled, I know that's not great, but nothing's gonna go bang. So no catastrophic problems or anything, you know, so um, we're gonna do that um, and switch between the two. So I've just, I've just, the, the, unfortunately, this is an, an isolated DC DC charger and that's something else as well. So that one there is a non-isolated, which means the negative is common to the input and the output. Great, generally. Um, and 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 on an hour boat, all the negatives are common starter and and leisure. Well, I couldn't get one quickly because um, I'm running out of time, but I have got an isolated one. And all you need to do with that one really is just connect two negatives up, uh, one to the input and one to the output. And I can use this one just the same as as that one. So everything's fine. Um, it's just that I can't get one of those quickly. So, right, I'm gonna mount that. I've just connected the wires in um, temporarily, well, not temporarily, I've connected those in. I shall mount that to the, to the wall there next to the other one. I'm also gonna mark which one does what. Um, I'll, I'll, I can tell one's a 30 amp, one's an 18. So you'll be able to see that quite easily on the screen on the app. Um, but I'm just gonna write which direction those charges are going. Right there, there they are, side by side. Uh, just a case of connecting these up to the batteries now uh, with with uh, MIDI fuse in each uh, positive supply nearest the batteries. You hear me say that all the time. So just connect them up uh, and then we can look at the software, how we disable one and enable the other. That seems like an okay, I quite like that because there's no clunky switches and there's no Disconnection, it's, it's just easy in software, so. One on which we're not, well, I'm on doing something. Um, I'm just uh, putting these fuses in line now. Well, just one thing to watch out for, and I see it all the time, is get the right connector for the job. So this is six mil cable, yellow will happily accommodate six mil cable and the hole is the right size for the stud that is going on. Um, the amount of times I see cable like cause cut or bodged into connectors that are far too small or tiny cables um, connected or crimped with a yellow crimp all the time. Really important. Get the right, get the right lug. I know I know sometimes we're all in a rush and we ain't got what we've got to do, but you know, that's really important to get that right size. And the same as well for the, the battery terminal. Being careful here because these batteries are in a steel box. <clears throat> so I've been very careful not to get that spanner anywhere near there. Okay, so um, 
I've connected the input, so from the domestics, uh, and you can see there that it needs a software update. That's pretty normal for MPPTs and Orions. Just go okay, stay within distance of the of the, the unit and uh, that does its own thing. Right, so um, you can also see now that those Orions generally come configured as a power supply. So you have to change that for charger and pop in the battery settings. And then the only other thing I have to do, remember I haven't connected the starter battery yet, the bit that we're charging. Um, the only thing I have to do now is go to the other uh, uh, Orion and disable that one before now I connect the other one. So basically what's happening is we enable one, disable the other. That allows current to go from the domestics to the starter. And we swap those over, enable the other, disable the other one and that allows current from the alternator and starter battery to charge the leisures i think that makes sense <laughs> and it's a pretty easy way of doing it you know no switches no no um no extra hardware and stuff it's just a simple software thing which i know the customer can do so uh right all i've got to do now is connect those that starter battery and make sure that's charging okay and that's uh, that's it for here so I've left my 17 mil spanner in the van. Uh, so I need to go and get that so I can uh, connect that starter battery and uh, just check that that's all running and uh, we'll be good to go. Uh, I might need to cut, I might need to cut the uh, battery box lid. Always a pain. Okay, so now you can see the one Orion is now turned off. The other one is on, connected to the starter battery, charging the starter battery. Um, and you see this is all uh, in the absorption phase. Um, so now when the boat's winterized, everything's turned off, the inverter's off, charger's off, everything's off, it's off. Um, the solar is now keeping those leisure batteries topped up, but also during those long cold winter months, it's also keeping the starter battery happy. So a little bit of an odd way of doing it, I guess. Well, really it's not, it's a charger. There are other ways. Um, this is a really efficient way and the battery will certainly like it because uh, it'll be on float uh, the whole winter. So um, just a little bit of a finger, a few finger presses for the customer to do when he goes from winter to summer or summer to winter. Right, uh, I need to cut that board, do I? Let's see, as I thought, I just needed to cut that slot a bit bigger, but that's done now. We'll pop this back in and uh, yeah, jobs are good enough, I think. Um, yeah, a short video, easy video, I think. Um, hopefully you can see how easy that is. Most people could do something like that, I think. Remembering you fuse both ends, that's probably the most important thing. And you've got the cable sizes big enough to carry that load current. But um, yeah, it should be straightforward for most people, I'd have thought that. Orion, uh, watch out for those Orions. Some are DC to DC converters and some are Orion chargers. So the chargers can be uh, a DC to DC power supply or a charger but the ones that just say converter on them DC to DC converter they cannot be a charger so you'll have problems if you get those mixed up well that's it for this job thanks for watching uh, kingfisher-marine.co.uk uh, for your Victron stuff if it's not in the shop give us a shout not only Victron, we've got Sterling, Blue Sea, BEP, Dometic, batteries, whatever you need really. Uh, we've also got uh, links to some discounts with uh, Renergy and Blue Tea, uh, the power banks. So give us, a sh give us a look, have a look at that, www.kingfisher-marine.co.uk. In the meantime, I'm going to go and do this other job for the marina and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you found that useful. Just a typical job in the day. Uh, not too big, not too small, but uh, yeah, just a fly on the wall kind of thing. So, boys, right, I'll go and do that. See you next time guys. Thanks so much, don't forget to press that like button if you like.
to present it if you don't want. <laughs> so yeah, see you next time.